Urartu is certainly the ancient name of the country which today we call Armenia. In the 19th century, when uh, Assyriology was first developing as a science and people were deciphering inscriptions for the first time, there was much excitement when the name Urartu was read for the first time because people realized that this was the same name as the biblical name of Ararat, which of course had long been known since the time of the Old Testament as the place where the ark in the flood story of Noah and the ark had come to rest. In cuneiform script, the phonetic transformation of the AU pair was common. Hence, in Assyrian and Babylonian cuneiform sources, the Ararat kingdom is often referred to as Urartu. This is the name under which it appears on the world's oldest Babylonian map, where one of the depicted countries is Urartu Ararat, Armenia. This tablet is the oldest map of the world that has ever been discovered. And it's an archaeological object which is now in the British Museum, which was discovered in ancient, the ancient city of Babylon in Iraq in the 19th century. The scribe very carefully wrote on the surface of the map the names of different cities or different tribes or different places which he knew about. So the big cities like Ashur and Babylon and Nippur, the famous sites of ancient Mesopotamia, are there with the little circle with a label inside. Also, up in the northeast, there is a cuneiform inscription which says Urartu. And Urartu is the ancient name that we know today of ancient Armenia. And this is one of the most renowned inscriptions, almost contemporary with the world's oldest Babylonian map. Achaemenid King Darius I ordered it carved in 6th century BC on a rock in Iran called Bisitun or Behistun. In the Persian section of this trilingual inscription, Armenia is spelled Armina. In the Elamite, it is Harminuya. And in the Babylonian, it is Urartu. All three refer to how the country was named in respective languages. <laughs> 